back or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa Khan and today I am tuning in from sunny California. I am here at Universal Studios Hollywood and I'm here with my parents, my sister, her kids, and my brother. So follow along as I take this adventure of going through Hollywood Studios. Universal Studios Hollywood has an incredible deal right now. They have one buy one day, get the second day free. So we were already planning on coming here, but since it was buy one day, get one free, we decided to show up here, even though we had been flying all night and we haven't been here since 2016. So we're really excited to come back and see all of the new changes. So I flew all night, we were on the red eye. We left Anchorage at about 11.50 p.m. and we arrived into LAX at 6 a.m. So I'm a little bit exhausted, so let's get some Starbucks. I'm thinking something iced because it's getting really hot out. So I'm thinking maybe a pumpkin spice of almond milk latte and then my dad is gonna get a pineapple refresher. I love going to the different Starbucks at all the different theme parks because Starbucks usually has a personalized mug or a tumbler that's designed just for that park and I thought this one was so cute. I didn't buy it because we were going to come back the following week and if I really wanted to buy it I decided that I would just wait and buy it next Friday. It's actually a Starbucks that's not owned by Starbucks, it's owned by Universal so my Starbucks points didn't work but that's okay because I was able to get my favorite iced pumpkin spice latte and this drink literally tasted like a Dole Whip. It was so refreshing and it had fresh pineapple on the top. It was so amazing. They already started adding the Christmas decorations. We arrived before Halloween, so I thought that was kind of cool to get some of the holiday touches. We are walking down the Secret Life of Pets. This is the newest ride that they have, and they did such an incredible job of adding just the cute little towns and what you would see if you were walking down in the show. And we were gonna go do the Minion Mayhem ride, but the youngest kiddo that was with us is two and he didn't meet the height requirement. So we wanted our first ride to be a ride that we could all do as a family. And the Secret Life of Pets ride is any height. So we were able to do that. And it was only a 30 minute wait. I don't even think we waited that long. And this is again, their newest ride. So we were super excited to see. And they have definitely spiced up the queue. Look how incredible this queue is. It was super interactive as if you were going through uh, the journey of a pet being adopted in the different homes that the pet would be experiencing. It was such a nice job and it was so cute. And the kids thought that all of these little things were so fun to touch and to play with. It was such a fun time in the queue. We are in line for the first ride of the day, which is Secret Life of Pets. So I had to go solo, which was totally okay because I was able to film everyone behind me. And this ride had so much attention to detail. I was loving it, just seeing how silly the animals were and seeing how playful everything was. And of course, the main reason that we come to this theme park is Harry Potter. I love all things Harry Potter. It is so magical. As soon as you just enter this world, you literally feel a shift in your body and you are filled with the Harry Potter magic. So after the Secret Life of Pets, the ride was so cute. I think it's one of their newest rides here in the park. We got super hungry, so we're gonna go eat at the free broomsticks. This has the most gluten-free options and so we are gonna get a bunch of food to share and we made it to Harry Potter World. So we're gonna go eat right there and then keep exploring the park. It's getting a little bit hot, so it's perfect time to go sit down and eat and enjoy a meal. The last time I was here at this theme park, Harry Potter World just opened up. So it's so wild to think 
that I came here back in 2016 when it had just opened up and we came fully dressed in our Harry Potter cloaks, our wands, and we were so excited to explore everything that this theme park has to offer. And this restaurant, The Three Broomsticks, is my favorite restaurant in the entire theme park. It also has, again, the most gluten-free options. And when you're in a theme park, it can be really challenging finding food that you can eat that is filling. And this is basically a huge Thanksgiving meal. It has so much amazing food that you can eat and you can share. We ended up ordering a bunch of different plates. I think we ended up getting the chicken, the ribs, the mac and cheese. Obviously I did not eat that, but we just got a hodgepodge of food. And they actually have a huge platter that I tried to get my family to buy. And then they were like, no, we all wanna get our own thing. And then once we ordered all the food, we realized we should have just done the big platter because that would have been just the easiest for our family size of having so many people eat. But the theming in this restaurant is identical to the three broomsticks in the movie. And they already had, again, some of the holiday decor, which is really fun to see that they're spicing up this restaurant and to show all the amazing things that this restaurant has to offer. Here is all the food we got. We got some fresh lemonade. It had chicken, corn, potatoes. The kiddos got mac and cheese and chicken fingers. So much good food. My parents and my sister ended up getting beers. There's like a little bar inside of the three broomsticks. She got um, shepherd's pie. I ended up getting half ribs, half chicken. My mom and I split. And we decided to go and do the main. So the main ride is Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, which is basically you explore the castle and then you get on this really flight simulator ride that takes you through all of the main scenes of Harry Potter. And this castle is so incredible. And I definitely have a little hack that I cannot wait to share with you. Pro tip, if you are flying, or if you're flying, if you're going on the Harry Potter ride, go through the single rider line and go through the lockers. We literally went on twice and each time was less than a five minute wait, so that is a pro tip. And the first time we did single rider, me and my mom actually got to sit together. So go through the gift shop, don't go through the front of the line, and just go past the lockers and you will see the single rider line. I cannot take credit for this hack. My mom actually discovered this. So you go through the exit of the gift shop. This is where everyone's leaving the ride. It goes to the gift shop. And if you are traveling with someone else who's not gonna go on the ride, give them all your stuff so you don't even have to worry about putting your stuff in the locker. So basically you're gonna walk through all of this merch. You're gonna take a left and the left is going to take you right through the lockers. But if you leave your stuff with a family or a friend, you don't even have to worry about putting your stuff in the locker and you don't have to worry about this hustle and bustle and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take another left and there's gonna be this little sign behind this person that says single rider and that is where you're gonna go to get on the next ride so I went shopping I got a hat and then my husband and I love to match and I am a death eater at heart so we got the cutest thing let me show you so this is the hat I got it's got like this gold foil and this gold trim and it says Hogwarts on the back. I just thought it was so cute. It was $29. I just thought it was so cute. And then we got two of the same shirt. I don't even see where you guys are at. Oh, cute. It is so soft. So I got a small and my husband got an extra large, but to match my Death Eater tattoo. As we were walking to the lower level, we found an ice cream parlor, and look at this ice cream. It was so creamy and so soft, and now we're headed to go on the mummy ride. This is one of my favorite rides. It's kind of scary and kind of fast, but so much thrill. So we just got off the mummy ride. We did the single rider, and from the time we got in the line and on the ride, it was less than five minutes, and they actually put me and my mom together, so that was another pro tip for the mummy ride, do that. So then, because it was so fast, we hopped in line again, and as we were about to go up to get off the ride, the ride stopped and we waited for maybe three minutes. And because of that, they gave us this, which is basically a fast pass for any ride up to six guests. They gave one for me and my mom. So the Jurassic World ride is about a 90 minute wait. So I think we're gonna do that because the park closes in about an hour and a half because they've got um, Halloween Horror Nights tonight, so everything closes around 5.30 and it's about 4 o'clock. So, 
that was pretty exciting because we finished the ride. We just hadn't gotten up to the front to get out. They actually had to let us out a way ahead of time. So pro tip, do the single rider line. If it gets stuck, you get a fast pass. The Jurassic World ride has totally been reimagined with Chris Pratt and the new dinosaurs and animatronics. It was such an incredible ride. And look, we can see Nintendo World is being built. It's supposed to release next spring. And I cannot believe how much progress they have made. So it's basically right behind Jurassic World. And as you're going down the escalators to the lower level, you can see everything. You can see Bowser's castle. You can see the piranha plants. There's so much detail and it kind of looks a little small. I'm not really sure how they're gonna fit so many people in that little area, but I believe that there are two rides and a restaurant and a couple of gift shops, and I am so excited. My parents have season passes, so I'm definitely gonna come back, and here is a bigger view, as you can see. Down there is the Mummy Ride, the Jurassic World Ride, the Transformer Ride, and I think one other ride. And then behind that is gonna be the new Nintendo World. They are doing incredible work and it's pretty exciting. So we are deciding to wrap up the day. We can't believe that the park is about to close. And I think we're gonna do one more ride because we have a Fast Pass left over and here are all the spooky Halloween decorations that they've got going on. So we just got done with the mummy ride. We did single rider and so we still have one more fast pass left. Everyone is exhausted and tired. So because we've got little ones in the group, we are going to do the secret life of pets since all of us can ride it and the pass is good for six people and there's six of us who have tickets. So we're gonna do one more park ride and then we're gonna call it a day. So the park is about to close and get ready for Halloween Horror Nights. So we got here around 11ish. The park opened at 9 a.m. today, so we got here about two hours after the park opened. We got some Starbucks. We did Secret Life of Pets. We ate lunch at the Three Broomsticks. Then we did the single rider line for the Harry Potter, and then we did the Hippogriff ride, and then we did the single rider in the main Harry Potter ride again. And then we did some exploring, walking around. We got some ice cream, some soda. And then we went down and we walked around Dino Land. We did the mummy, Jurassic World, mummy again. And we just ended the day with Secret Life of Pets because we had that free fast pass. So thank you so much for joining me today on my excursion. I have no idea how I've survived. Literally, we left Anchorage last night at midnight and we got like maybe three hours of sleep and we woke up went to the hotel and then we came straight here. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I release videos out every single week. Also, let me know what you think of the upcoming Nintendo World that's gonna be coming out next year. I got some really cool footage and I was so excited to show you all. I hope you have a great day.